Hello and welcome to another episode of The Break. I'm Josh Butensky and I'm here with my co-host Moses Nunez Jr. How you doing today? I'm doing good, Josh. How you doing? Good. Well, I'm not doing that good. Yeah. Uh, no, it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really depressing. Uh, the uh, the wild card game last night. I yeah. mean, the Mets played. They they even though they lost, I think they played a pretty good game. But it was just the the way it happened was just so disappointing. <laughs> yeah, but you know the the thing is is that. <laughs> The Mets are um, the Mets. It's your typical Mets. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they, they have a great stride going into the postseason. They play, uh, you know, great, and then it's that one little thing. And it's always that one little thing that always makes them lose, no matter what. I agree. I mean, even I, I even think Syndergaard had a better game than Bob Garner. He had he, ten strikeouts in what was it? Seven innings. Seven innings. It's it's, uh, it's ridiculous. Like, all right, man, you know, Mad Bum, he's got, he's got, he's one of the greatest postseason pitches, you know, that we have ever seen yeah. Yeah. in he, our time. His time. ERA is, I think, the lowest for anybody in yeah. the history of the postseason. Yeah, but, you know, it's uh, real depressing that, you know, the way that it happened. Like, Familia, seriously, is this generation's Armando Benitez. They go and they, you know, they have a lights out game, and then what happens in the ninth? Armando Benitez comes and he chokes. Yeah. Same thing with Familia. Familia has a great season. He was on a streak this year, and then what happens towards the end of the season? He chokes. It, it, exactly. You know, I I said it from the beginning. I mean, like, I think Familia is, Familia is one of the best closers in in the league. I mean, fifty saves. Yeah. You, you really can't go wrong with that. Yeah. But. Look what he did last season in, in the playoffs. Yeah, he was phenomenal. They, towards the, to, toward, in the World Series. Well, until the World when Series. When they were facing elimination, he choked. Yeah. But, and the, but that's the thing. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, exactly. Prior to the World Series, the, the, uh, sorry, the NLDS, he was lights out. The NLCS, he was all right. And then the World Series, just like everyone else on the Mets team, he was quiet. Yeah. And he did the same thing. He blew a 3-1 lead in the World Series last year, and he blew a, a, a amazing what should have been a win for Noah Syndergaard last night. Yeah, it's just, it's a, it's just unfortunate, it really is. Yeah, speaking but... of unfortunate, what about those Jets on Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I am 2-0. and I'm 2-0 and in predictions <laughs> so far. Just wanted to throw that out there. That's true. Yeah. So well, before we talk about last week, what um, who's gonna win this week? Uh, Said so you're I'm, so good at this. Okay, well, uh, the Jets are facing the Steelers. Yep. On what, Sunday night? I think it's Sunday night. Sunday, Sunday night. Okay. And the Giants are facing who? Um, I don't even know who they're facing. The this Packers. Week. The Packers. Yep. Okay, I'll tell you this right now. The Jets are losing. <laughs> After the thrashing that the Steelers put on uh, Kansas City, last that was night, it was a thrashing. Yeah, that was, <laughs> and we got destroyed by the Chiefs. If you yeah. think that we can keep up with the Chiefs, I mean, we could barely keep up with the Chiefs. You think that we could keep up with the Steelers? No, Hell no, because the Steelers killed and the Kansas City. And the thing is, the Jets' D is so predictable. They're so predictable. Like there's, it's it's unbelievable how predictable it is. You know, like um, what was I gonna say? Um, they can't, they can't, they can't hide us. They can't hide a a, a, a blitz. You know, um, they they're, they're just, so they're just funny. horrible. Like <laughs> I don't are. know what else to say. You know, like I mean. Oh, All right, well, it's, talk about the Giants. Okay. The Giants, uh, they got the packs. Um, I mean, I think they have a chance. They have a chance. But it's... It's going to go it's down gonna, to the wire. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going to... It may come down to a field goal. It may come down to a touchdown. But I tell you this, whoever has... And this is going to sound cliche and John Madden-like, but whoever has the last possession will win the game. They will. I could see that. Yeah, it's going to be a... 
march down the uh, it's going to be like the the Jets and I mean sorry the Giants and the Packers they're going to be t either they're going to be tied and someone's going to march down and get a field goal or somewhere or another it's going to go down the wire and to be honest with you I can see the Giants winning this but at the same time I can also see the Packers because the thing is with the Packers they are their defense excuse me their defense isn't too good their defense um, last time I checked they're they're ranked 19th in I want to say uh, points against. No, not points against. The 13th in points against. Um, their secondary, when it comes to the rush, they're actually like 17th. So their defense isn't too good. Yeah. So I can see the Giants. You know, if Eli Manning actually plays like Eli Manning and not, you know. Uh, Bryce Petty, I mean, sorry, not Bryce Petty, Geno Smith, <laughs> Ryan Fitzpatrick, and Mark Sanchez and a baby bundled up <laughs> together, then I think that the Giants could win this game. But they're going to have to stop Aaron Rodgers. That's always hard. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. He's elite. He is elite. So, but so is but, Eli Manning. That's the yeah. thing. But Eli Manning is great, but he's, <laughs> Eli's also a little older. And was, yeah, Rodgers is older than him. Is he? Yeah. I thought they were around the same age. Oh, they're around the same age, but Rogers has, like, I think a two-year difference. There's a two-year difference. Oh, well, I didn't know that. Yeah, but Eli <laughs> Manning's always got the, like, the, <laughs> yeah. how do I throw a ball today? Like, he's got that <laughs> just doofy look. Like, I, I look at him in 2007, just, hey, guys, let's play, let's play football. <laughs> like, it, it's, so we'll, we'll see what happens next week. All right. Well, um, back to baseball. Okay. Um, the NLDS. Um, Should have been the Mets in there, but. Well, I, I we we know that, but you have uh, the Cubs and the Giants, and the Dodgers and the Nats. I'm gonna tell you right now, Red Sox Cubs World Series. Red Sox Cubs. I'm feeling it. I. I'm feel, it's either Red Sox Cubs or Red Sox Nationals. I don't see anyone like the Red Sox have been on a tear. I don't see the Rangers advancing. I think the Blue Jays are gonna. Uh, you know, advance, and it's going to be Red Sox, Blue Jays, and I think the Red Sox are going to beat them in uh, what's the what's the best of five? It's five right? seven seven. Five seven seven. Mm -hmm. All right, so I see them going in five. Um, I see the Cubs beating the Giants because the Giants, honestly, they were. I'm not discrediting mm -hmm. the Mets in any way, mm -hmm. but I honestly feel overall. The Mets a are the better team. Not the bet, not, no, the Mets aren't a better team. The Mets, compared to the Giants and the Mets, yeah. But com <laughs> compared to the Cubs and the Mets, oh, no, the Cubs, the are, Cubs the are dominant. Team. Yeah. You know what I mean? They won over 100 games yeah, this year. Yeah, and they're young. They're yeah. a young team. Now, I think they, they're going to beat the Giants. The Dodgers versus Nats, unfortunately, the Nats are on a tear again this year, and mm -hmm. they didn't slow down. I think it's going to be Cubs-Nats for the NLCS. I, um, I mean... I rather, I obviously rather see the Dodgers, you know. Yeah, I hear you. But I think, yeah, I think it's the Nationals and the Cubs. Yeah. Um, the Red Sox. I mean, the Indians. I think they're good, but I think they're still young. They're kind of like, yeah. they're kind of like the Cubs of last year. Yeah. You know, they, they were really good. You know, had a great run, mm -hmm. and just kind of missed that next step. Yeah. Yeah. Um. The Blue Jays and the Rangers, I mean. It's round two. Yeah. <laughs> that I mean, fight round I two. think <laughs> I definitely see that going to a game five. Yeah. Um, I, think, I think the Rangers are a little bit the better team. Okay. They are more experienced. You know, That's true. The Blue Jays are, just, are also just starting to come out of their own. That's true. Um, so I definitely think I'm going to say Rangers and Red Sox. I'm going to say Cubs and Nats. Okay. And then I'm going to say the Cubs over the Red Sox. Right. I think I well, kind of just copied no, you, but no, no, you it makes the no, most it, sense. I mean, on paper, if you look at how the Cubs have been, it's, it makes sense for them to win it all this year. It does. You know, um, and it's been so long. I know. You, you know, I, I think we talked about this last week, but mm -hmm. the last time the, the Cubs, the won, Cubs the World, won the World Series. Nobody like, on this planet was the, alive. Cars were just being, just, yep. was, was just invented. Movies were like a, a, a just now a trending thing. The TV hasn't even been heard of yet. 
Like, it's crazy to think. Radio was the big thing. You know what's depressing? Yeah. That almost every, no, not almost, every single person that was alive for the last World Series that they won is now dead. Yeah. Like, it, it's, it's mind-boggling. <laughs> like, that's how long yeah. it's been. <laughs> like, at least with 1918, when they won it, they, you know, there was, like, maybe some old, decrepit person was still around for it. But here with the Cubs... It's ridiculous. Like the Titanic didn't even sink yet. Like that's how depressing <laughs> it's been for to be a cup fan. Like, like you want to talk about droughts? That's a drought. That's a that, that's not a drought. That's like a, uh, uh, I don't even know what to do. They make, they, it makes the Red Sox <laughs> drought look bad. It does. I mean, I feel good as a <laughs> Met fan because hey, at least my dad was around for the '86 World Series, and I was here for 2000 and 2015. Yeah. You know, like, granted, they didn't win. But we, they were still in the World Series. Exactly. When's the last time the Cubs were in the World Series? I don't know, but it hasn't been 100 it's, years. No, it hasn't been 100 years, yeah. but it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. And the last time the Mets won a World Series, it was in 86. Yeah. You it's know, still, like, still relative. 35 uh, years ago? Exactly. It's not, I mean, it's a long time, but it's not like... But, like, long. you're not, like, dead or your, your grandpa's grandpa was <laughs> yeah. around for it. You know, <laughs> like at least I was born four years later. That's yeah. that's the way I see it. You know. All right. Oh, yeah. So it's not thirty. It's not thirty. It's not thirty-six. It's actually 30, 86, 35. Thirty. No. I was born in nineteen ninety. I'm twenty. Oh no! I'm talking about the last time they won the World. Your math is horrible. <laughs> Your math the, is the last time the Mets won the World Series was, was nineteen eighty-six. Was thirty-five years ago. No, it wasn't thirty-five years ago. 1986. That's 96. What's what's 86 plus four? All right, we're not having. A I was born in 1990. I'm 26. Yeah. So add four to 26. That's all. Never. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you're mathematician. <laughs> Woo! Seriously. <laughs> That's not what I was 30... talking about. I was saying that it was 35. They didn't years. win in, in 1980. They won in 86. Exactly. Yeah. So it was 35 years ago. No, it wasn't. 1980 was 36 years ago. Oh, yeah. Right, it was 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Ding! <laughs> God. I feel like an idiot now. Well, you kind of sound like At one. At least I solved it. It took you, like, <laughs> half the show. <laughs> but, um, you know, like, it, it's unfortunate, like, that we, we can't really talk about the Mets or anyone. All we could talk about is the, the Knicks, the Islanders, unfortunately, the, the Rangers, Rangers, unfortunately. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and I think that's about it for New York. Oh, yeah, well. There's the we, Devils if you count them. Yeah, but the Devils don't count anywhere. They're <laughs> the Devils. They're from New Jersey. Like, who's from New Jersey? Yeah, who's from New Jersey? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I would, be, I would be depressed if I was from New Jersey. You know, I, I hate New Jersey. Such a bad, bad, bad state. <laughs> it's a horrible state to live in. They got the Devils. They had the Nets, but they lost them. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, we might as well just send the Buffalo Bills there. <laughs> well, quickly talking about hockey, the Oilers just announced that Connor McDavid is going to be their captain. Mm -hmm. He was literally, last year, of course, his rookie year. He's only 19 years old and makes him the youngest captain ever in NHL history. I just wanted to know, what do you think about that? Do you um, think it's a good move or a bad move? Well, how old was Tavares when he was made captain? 22, 23. Well, that's, honestly, I feel like that's a sign of desperation. They need some type of leadership in their locker room. So I think it's a cry for desperation to have someone that young. Or they just want to show that he's a prominent NHL player or something like that. I mean, I would have at least given it a couple more years. Yeah. I would have gave it to someone who's been in the NHL for, you know, a few more years just to kind of... Because I feel like giving all that or something to a 19-year-old kid could actually hurt them. So the Oilers have been... They've literally... How can you have that many first-round picks and still be Every the year. worst team in the league? Every year. Yeah. You know, it's funny... Uh, I was at, uh, when I interned at SB Nation, there was an article that was posted about the uh, president's, you know, the president's kid was like, I want to say 10, 11 years old when they first started getting their draft, their first round draft picks. And we've literally seen him grow up because he's always there 
on stage yeah. every single year with his father. Mm -hmm. And now he's in high school. Well, he's going to college now, yeah. which is kind of depressing coming from an, you know, the Oilers standpoint. That means you're so bad, we have to give you draft picks every single year. Yeah. Like, you might as well, if you're a, a Stanley Cup contending team, you might as well try to get that first round pick from the Oilers because they're probably not going to go anywhere this year. I could see them getting 80, uh, yeah. said, probably, you know, 80, 80, I mean, 80, uh, 85 points. Not even, I would say 79. We'll see. I mean, they didn't, they didn't have the first round pick, the first overall pick this year. Oh, that's a surprise. Uh, Toronto had it. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Yeah. See, that's, <laughs> it, it's either the, uh, it's, it's either someone, oh, it's Canadian. Both of them. Well, anybody. In, last, Unless you're from New Jersey, you know. Last season, I don't. There was not one Canadian team that made the playoffs, which yeah. I think is pretty depressing. It is depressing, given that it's their own sport. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, then again, we we are horrible when it comes to basketball and baseball, and baseball was our own sport. That's true. Well, it looks like that's all the time we have to, for today. Thank you for watching. I'm Josh Rutensky. I'm Moses Nunez Jr. <laughs> we'll see you next week.